what up what up guys your boy just king zeta welcome back to the just king zeta podcast and uh yeah man today we're talking about the fact that um chidima vanessa onwe adichina uh, has stepped down from the competition uh, the pageant miss south africa miss sa uh, after a big backlash and uproar you know she has uh, finally stepped down South Africans have been calling her to step down. For you all who don't know who she is, she's a, a lady born from a Nigerian father and a Mozambican mother who faked her, her citizenship in South Africa. Uh, she basically, she stole the identity of a South African, the mother of Chidima. And uh, yeah, man, very, very crazy turn of events. But before we get into it, um, don't forget to please subscribe subscribe to the channel so that you may be able to get more of my videos so that you can get my videos as i post them uh, so that you don't miss some of the videos that i post uh, so that the algorithm does not sabotage you so that the algorithm does not sabotage me and we can find each other and also to grow a community and have a, a bigger following uh, subscription and then we can yeah really really make more longer content uh, more you can have interviews you can have all those type of things so uh anyways thank you for the people who have subscribed thank you i've been seeing you guys have been subscribing shout out to you guys yeah man so let's get straight into it chidima you know i've been making a lot of videos covering this issue uh you know you see it's not nice for us to be out here you know going against africans or um, fellow Africans and uh, doing some of these videos literally exposing and really going to war <laughs> with these videos with our, our tweets and whatever it's not nice to tell you the truth we, we love Africans and we love to be with Africans and we, but the amount of disrespect and the amount of inhumane treatment that we're, we're getting by these Nigerians online uh, busy calling us uh, lazy druggies uh, drug consumers or whatever they even the the worst one they say is the hiv republic they say south africa is the hiv republic do you understand they call us rapists they call do you understand that's the type of words that they're calling us do you understand and unfortunately that coupled with what nigerians are doing here in south africa they they call they call us those things because we were we were calling them out. We say that your people are selling drugs here. Please deal with them. Please help us deal with these people. Hey, hey your, your people. Uh, what what? Is your government? It's your government. Hey, 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 hey. And then that's when now we start calling them. We start to say jollofs. We start to say all these things. Then they respond. They start to say. Hey, HIV Republic, hey, 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 drugs, what, what, what? You, we would, people wouldn't be selling drugs to your place if you didn't do drugs. Do you understand? That's the type of things that they say. And we cannot take that line down. And we will never take that line down. Do you understand? Then they start, literally, Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians, they cannot take accountability. They cannot take accountability for anything. And these people, you cannot speak to them and, and, and think you'll have a productive, fruitful conversation. Do you understand? A lot of them. I'm not, I'm not being counting everyone the same, but I am counting a lot. That's why we count a lot the same, because you guys do not uh, come out and say, yeah, definitely, you guys are right. Let's work. Yeah, we have a problem in, with Nigerians. Let's work. You don't do that. Instead, you much rather call us names back or we call you. Then it's a back and forth. And you don't back down. And we don't back down as well. You know. And that's why they had to go to this place. Miss SA was the perfect battleground for us to fight this war. Because you guys want to put your, your daughter on our Miss SA competition. After calling us HIV Republic. I don't expect us to be the bigger guy. No, we don't play bigger guy in South Africa. We don't do that. The bigger man, no, fuck that. We maniga, we've been through apartheid. Do you understand? We don't want any apartheid from Africans. We don't want Africans coming here to 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 to, to dictate to us who we must be, what we must do, how, in what way, how we must live. Calling us names. 
That's why we call you names as well. That's why we say kwara kwara. That's why we say all these things because you don't, don't you don't listen. You don't have ears. You don't listen. You all you play victim. We know the victim card, guys. We know that game. We've we've read books. We're not stupid. We've read books. We understand that that, that strategy of playing victim in order to succeed in life. Do you understand? We know it very well. Play victim. And then uh, until you succeed, and but we know those things. We know these uh, strategies that people use. Forty-eight laws of power type of situations. Do you understand? So that's not how um, Africans should be behaving with each other. You leave us no choice because you are like that visitor that comes to a country, or a visitor that comes to a house and starts acting like they are better than the people who are from that house. They start to look for favor from the owners of that house more than the person who stays in that house. They start to want to outshine the people that are from that house and then they always want to tell the people from that house that they are losers. Do you understand? If we are losers, why don't you stay in your own house? Do you understand? That's exactly what the type of things that happen here. And it's almost like you are incapable of understanding anything we're saying. You know, it, it, to me, that's very stupid because it seems like you are very brainwashable by those um, xenophobia uh, documentaries and all that. You now believe, hey, South Africans are xenophobic. You don't even want to eat. That means that no word that can come from us can penetrate through your head. You can never understand where we come from. And that is why we had to go to the lengths that we had to go to. You don't care if it's your child, if it's your daughter, if it's your son, whatever. We will prove our point. We will not give you an opportunity to lead us or to be our leader or our representative. Do you understand? Until we fix our issues. That, that we cannot just jump over. You, we, 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 we got problems with you. Now you want to put your daughter. Hey, um, Adichina is very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. More, the most beautiful there. Um, on that competition, her and um, Numbu Mele Lomaduna, they are very, very the most beautiful there. Do you understand? So, we don't hate Chichi, we don't hate Chichi Dima, um, she, we don't hate her, but we cannot allow that. We are not ready for that. We are not ready for a Nigerian Misese. Do you understand? We're not ready for a Nigerian descent, you know. We're not ready. We've got issues with Nigeria. Nigerians are doing cack shit in South Africa. They're doing nonsense. They're doing bullshit in South Africa. And they don't hear nothing. They don't want to hear shit. They think that they can just do whatever they please. You understand? And that's not a energy. That you cannot survive with that type of energy in South Africa. As I said before in another video, we are, the, we are the Ubuntu gen, um, nation. We are the nation of Ubuntu. We, are, we carry ourselves with that. Not strategy, not trying to win, not trying to... No. Ubuntu. I am because you are. You are now in South Africa, but you're killing me. You're killing my children. My children are not no more because of you. To understand, that's a reverse Ubuntu. Here it's, I am because you are. You are because I am. You fail to understand that. You think you can just do nonsense and there's no consequences. Fuck you. How can you think there's no consequences? You do something and you think there's no consequences. There's consequences. And unfortunately, sometimes your children will have to wear your your, your, your your crown. They'll have to wear, they'll have to answer for their father's sins. Do you understand? They'll have to, they'll have to not necessarily pay or whatever, but it's ending up as paying now, but we're just saying you have to, then they don't have to answer, but they, they cannot assume the role of a leader or kingship or, or to be, to be uh, elevated by South Africans. Because at the end of the day, every celebrity that you see in South Africa, we have put them there. We have allowed them and given them that space. If we don't want them there anymore, we can just take them out. As you saw in this debacle, when people were going against DJ's Boo, they were going against Peltusi, they were going... Literally, they can literally wipe out 
more fire in a second because it took DJ's boo doing videos on his phone on social media him promoting more fire for it to be what it is today so all it takes is just us as the people to take videos de defaming more fire saying people boycott this thing do not buy this thing do not do, do, do literally and i'm telling you within a week or a month the more fire will be in the ground do you understand literally so shout out to hurt my 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 goat dj Spoo. shout out for apologizing shout out for showing me they are showing us that humble side of yours that we love so much i mean even the videos that i'm doing right now here speaking on my phone i uh, it's inspired by dj Spoo. dj Spoo is the one who said take out your phone guys record youtube do youtube do you understand so shout out hurt man uh, for not disappointing me for showing that uh, you are still the hurt man that i know uh, hurt man, lama hurt man, DJ Spoo, the ultimate hustler shout out um so big shout out to djs boo um as for bolirato and them i don't know if their the ap apologies are very very genuine or what i don't even know you know they 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 disrespected you know they need to really really we'll just take your apologies peltus will take your apology uh, lerato will take your apology you understand but i'm showing you the power of the people ah yo too much lighting here yeah? but we gotta do this video we cannot stop you'll have to excuse the lighting um yeah let's just keep going you know so the people have the power you know the people have the power the power is in the hands of the people so um, we have the power to take them out. So even Chidima, you are literally looking for our, our approval. Even Chidima, she's looking for approval. You cannot just take that crown. No, you have to be accepted by the public. Because you will be the queen or the miss of the public. You will be representing the people out there. Do you understand? So, that's just the way it is. Um... As for Chirima, she stepped down. Yes, she stepped down because of... Um, but I don't like how to see Chirima, she carries herself. I don't like it. She doesn't carry herself the, the right way. Because she was very, very um, weird during this whole thing. She's chasing um, the, the crown, yes. But on TikTok, she was busy liking things that... When people were saying bad things about South Africans, uh, according to people, that's what they said she was doing on TikTok liking liking those comments where people are speaking weird things about south africans do you understand um but of course our people were on her you know our people were on her. our people were on her on tiktok and she was liking uh some of the comments that people were saying uh, weird things about south africans on her own thing on instagram she she deactivated her comments but now when it comes to uh when it comes to her final statement excuse me there we go yeah uh, still dark but it's okay when it comes to um her statement that she said um it was very very condescending and weird she basically said she's quitting uh, because she's stepping down because of uh, fear of safety you understand of her family and herself do you understand which is very very weird like who's gonna hurt you you know who's gonna hurt you who's gonna uh, attack you do you understand we're simply talking here so you should have just said you're stepping down because your mother is an illegal foreigner you know you should have just said you're stepping down because your mother is an illegal foreigner in south africa you are caught your mother was caught you know your mother was caught you guys were caught out and i believe she probably knew the, the way she's behaving she probably knew what was happening probably knew maybe she didn't maybe she did but the reason being she said that she's turning down because of safety do you understand that she's still that she putting a, that narrative on south africans again that maybe we're gonna attack her and and, and we're not those type of people you know we just need answers that that's it and in the end 
it was proven <coughs> that we were right. Excuse me, we were right to 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 to, to ask questions. Are these people here illegal? Is this legal? Who's the citizen? In what way are they citizens? You know what I'm saying? But for her, she should have just said that you have been caught out because patriotic alliance are on, are on my ass. You understand? Um, this and that, uh, home affairs have revealed certain things about my mother. And that is why I have to step down. Those are the type of things that she should have been saying. And uh, those are the type of things that could have helped her in the future in order to, to win back the trust of South Africans in her future endeavors. But the way she, uh, she, she was in this thing arrogantly, and even when she left this thing, she was arrogant still in her exit. Then she was like, whoever wins the crown will represent us all. Do you understand that? She's still talking nonsense. Who is us? Because you are not South African. Do you understand? You are not South African. You are not one of us. You know? Your mother is a illegal foreigner who stole, uh, who did identity theft. You are here illegally. She is here illegally. You know, that cannot fly. That cannot fly. A lot of people have had to suffer because of um, foreigners. Uh, African foreigners, a uh, uh, lot of African foreigners stealing the identity of fellow Africans, South Africans, who cannot get an ID in their own home country, who cannot get their own birthright because someone just felt like they want to run away from home, from their own country and go and find green past uh, pastures instead of fighting for their own because of being afraid of their own leaders. Not being able to, you know, you see in South Africa we start our own organizations. Uh, uh, during apartheid, what did they start? They started, um, you, um, uh, they grew the ANC, do you understand? They grew the ANC and changed it from what it was to, to the new version. They started in Konto season, an organization within an organization. Do you understand? Right now we have an illegal foreigner problem. What did a South African start? Operation Dudula. Organization. That's what your people need to start. Everyone in Africa, your people need to start organizations. Because you cannot fight a, an organization like the government or whatever. A party. Do you understand? Parties and whatever. Political parties. Without having your own political party. Not even just a political party, but an organization. This organization would be a, a group of people who stand together about a certain issue. You say fighting corruption or whatever, whatever, fella or fella kutis, frido, uh, corruption fighters. Do you understand? And then you start an organization, you start an office, you, you register with uh, the certain organizations for you to be an official organization. And you go there to the UN and you talk and you really that's how you change your country. You don't run. I saw some Nigerians swimming in the Mediterranean, whatever they call that ocean, swimming to Europe. I was like, God damn, these people are what the fuck? You much rather swim on those things rather than fight for your own country. Yo, 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 yo that's bad, man. What kind of hey, let me not even talk too much about it. You guys know about it, I don't know about it. You understand so that's just how it is you much you even steal an, an identity of someone just for you to, to run away from home and seek a refuge somewhere today now you want your daughter to be you don't even give a fuck you don't care you just keep quiet your daughter is being fried there and you just keep quiet your daughter's being fried for two weeks now your daughter's being fried for two weeks straight can't even come out and say hey my daughter please step down yeah, there's some issues. You know, you want everything. You want everything in South Africa. You want to, to get everything. You don't care. You just want everything. Give me everything. Give them a hand. They take the whole arm. Give them a hand. They take the whole arm. You understand? Problematic. Let's learn to be human beings, man. And you guys say we are uneducated. That you, are un you guys are uneducated. 
You guys are uneducated. That education of yours fried your brains. Straight up. Because how can you forget about African customs, African religion? No, not even religion, just our ways of doing things. Maybe that is the way of your people. You, uh, let me not even say that because I don't believe there's any proper, pure African culture that can believe in those some of these things and do things this way. I believe African culture is similar in a way. It's a culture of respect, of community. Do you understand? Community engagements. You know what I'm saying? Chiefs, there's chiefs, there's this and that, there's order, there's... Do you understand? There's love, there's uh, taking care of each other's children, watching over each other's children. Now you come and give my child drugs. Fuck you. And then you want to, 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 to say that, you no, know, you want to justify it. To me, you sound like a fucking a demon. That's what you sound like, a demon. A demon that is here to, to, to devour. You are like a lion. Just for your own success. No, no, no. That will not allow. I, I just said no, no, like, like my dog, my, my OG, my legend, my goat, um, uh, uh, Bantu Olomis. No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, you teach a man how to fish, you fish the fish. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, man. So that's how it is. Come here, you behave like baboons, and uh, you don't live like this in Nigeria. So, yeah, man. Uh, I just went on a funny tangent, but it's fine. This I'm streaming. You know what I'm saying? Streams of consciousness. As Kanye, my goat Kanye West would say it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just how it is. Hey, good thing you stepped down. You should have stepped down two weeks ago to avoid so much. But in you doing whatever you were doing, your stubbornness, you have allowed, you have literally put a whole flashlight on, spotlight on everything. On your whole family, your mother, even all Nigerians. You literally put put a spotlight on Nigerians as a whole. Nigerians now are going to be fried for this thing. All foreigners, all African foreigners, yeah, European foreigners. Home affairs has a lot of work to do, and um, yeah, GNU is going to be working for real. Cause now they look at this. We used to hear rumors of this type of things, but here it is. Our intuition was on point. Do you understand? In terms of the lady um, becoming something else in the future, yeah, she's studying law, whatever, but she's going to have to deal with a lot. But becoming something in South Africa is, is a problem because the way she behaved, that's the, you're going to have to win back the trust of South Africans, which would be very difficult. But uh, uh, we, are, you and we wish you best. But um, whether you knew about it or whether you didn't know about it, that your mother is what? If you knew about it, shame on you. If you didn't know about it, better luck on other things, not not this one. And for you all who think that South Africans who don't accept other African countries surviving and doing great things in South Africa, no, that's not a, that's not a fact. We do allow that, but just not Miss S.A. Miss S.A., um, we are going to be very strict. Now there's a Lebanese lady on the top, top, top nine on Miss SA. People are starting to call that one out. You know, we are not aware of it, but I'm telling you, if we are aware of that lady during this whole debacle, instead of protecting yourself, you should have just been calling out, the saying that, hey, there's another lady here, yeah, there's another lady. We would have fried them all together. Do you understand? So now it's uh, the days. Literally, the competition is tomorrow. Do you understand? Literally, like, um, not to say that whatever, the Lebanese woman, definitely, she should have been kicked out of the competition as well. The lady who was born from Lebanese parents should be kicked out of the competition. Do you understand? Uh, definitely, but uh, her luck, because literally, it's countdown to the competition. You know? But this has shown a spotlight on Miss Essay. We are going to fry Miss Essay.
And if they continue doing this type of things, we are going to close down, down Miss SA. Miss SA will no longer be a thing. It will no longer until we find the right, uh, uh, until Miss SA is now controlled by the government. Do you understand? It has to be controlled by the government. All these private companies, they will, will take them down. Next year, Miss SA, Stephanie, Stephanie, we are, are, are going to boycott those those things. We are going to make sure next next year, your top 30, whatever, we are going to be so laser focused on all the people that you accept on that competition. So whether it's Europeans, whether it's whatever, we are coming for them now. Europeans, Lebanese, Chinese, whatever, we're coming for them. We're going to put a spotlight. If you continue doing these things, disrespecting us, we are going to shut down that. Yeah, man. Um, anyways, it's your boy, Just King Zeri. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, man, signing out.